Hey there, New York. Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man here. Wanted to give a bit of a life update since I'm sure you're wondering where I've been the past couple of weeks. <sighs> Come on, guys. I'm talking to my fans right now. Sorry about that. But yeah, I've been a little busy and I've sort of not really kind of been working with the Avengers. It's like a side hustle. It's hard taking down a multinational corporation, especially when your team has been deemed outlaws in the public eye. But we still find time to enjoy ourselves outside of work. I've actually been able to do a lot more recreational stuff since I joined them. Here's a secret from yours truly. The Avengers? Surprisingly normal outside of bad guy butt kicking. They're like this big family of heroes, all working together and helping out, but still finding the time to have fun. Not that I've been goofing off. It's still serious work fighting alongside the Avengers. But you know how it is. Saving the city all the time, all by yourself. It gets kind of lonely. <sighs> I've met so many cool people now. I've been to so many wonderful places. And you know I'd never leave New York. You guys are always my number one. But the Avengers are like no other friends I've ever had. It's been kind of great. Sorry, I I'm totally getting ahead of myself. Uh, let me back up a little bit. Start from the beginning. This is safe, right? Yeah, totally safe. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, I did not think this one through. Hill should be in contact soon to fill us in. Hey guys, we have a visitor. Hey. You know, you guys should really consider getting a doorbell or a front door. <laughs> Can I come in now? Okay, Spider-Man. Let's talk. You two know each other. <laughs> Spider-Man's been fighting baddies in New York for, like, ever. Sorry. I spent the last five years frozen. And in space. I was living in a trailer. With internet. Well, I'd say I'm insulted, but 50% recognition ain't bad. AIM had a pretty extensive file on him. No ID, though. You cover your tracks well. Wow. Coming from you, it, you can't see it behind the mask, but I'm totally blushing right now. Still doesn't explain why you were hanging off our helicarrier mid-flight. Yeah, I need Tiny Dancer. She helped my friend slip some aim intel to the Resistance a while ago. I was hoping... I'm listening. Right, so, I think AIM's working on something big. Like, <clears throat> chemical weapons big. I'm having trouble getting specifics because every file I've pulled off their servers is super redacted. The number of black bars on these things puts some modern art to shame. And? And I'm trying to track down their supplier, but I, I need Tiny Dancer to break AIM's encryption so I can get into one of their facilities. I can handle the rest myself. Let us take a look first. If you're right about what AIM's got planned, we'll help you get into that facility. Hang out until we're ready to go. Tony? Nat? It's really not a big deal. It's just to get in... You're still walking. Okay. Don't worry. I'm an expert in hanging out. Get it? Hanging? Well, I thought it was funny. You know you guys don't have to come with me, right? We know. <laughs> still gotta help, though. It's what we do. And, uh... You don't have to wear that mask around us if you don't want to. It's not really about me. There are people back home that I need to protect. And the mask helps me do that. Hey, I get it. No one back home knows I'm Miss Marvel either. Except my Abu, of course, but um, mask or no mask, we all need people who have our backs and really get us. Even the weird parts. Uh, especially the weird parts. <laughs> in any case, you should check out the place. Thor and the Hulk are competing in the harm room, but I'm sure you could kick him out. The harm room? <laughs> Is that name literal or ironic? You'll see. 
Welcome to the Chimera, Spider-Man. Thanks. <sighs> Let's hope this was the right call, Pete. Hi, I'm Liz. Liz Allen. Peter's friend, sort of. It's complicated. Your dad's company is Allen Chemicals, right? Yeah. I, um... I tracked down the person who's been funneling their resources to AIM. It's... It's Mark Raxton. Should I know who that is? He's my stepbrother. Been working as a junior executive since he graduated college, and now... Well, now I guess he's selling out our family to AIM. Can't wait for that conversation over Thanksgiving dinner. We have to stop him. Any idea what he might have planned? Not a clue. I'll look into what he's been doing at Alchem, but let me know if you find anything on your end. We're going to fix this. Don't worry. Mission report, Miss Allen. <laughs> Very funny. So, I looked into my brother's network, and I think I got a hit. A former mentor, Spencer Smythe. Four years ago, he started working with AIM as one of their lead tech engineers. So he could have recruited your brother. That's what I'm thinking. Here's the good news. I know Mark's work. If they're collaborating, I should be able to reverse engineer something to give you an edge against whatever Smythe's cooking up. Sounds good. I'll take all the edges we can get. Thanks. You are definitely not supposed to be here. Does it help if I say I come in peace? Marginally. Look, I know I'm probably not your favorite person right now, but I am here to help. Smythe, I mean, he's gone off the deep end. Why the sudden change of heart? Last I saw, you didn't have a problem making robots specifically designed to kill me. I know, I know, but you have to understand, it was the only way I could make sure Liz was safe. From AIM? They would have ruined her career. Or worse. And now they know that Liz and her friend at the Bugle are helping you guys destroy those chemical caches. They're making moves. So let me help give you an edge against them. Look, it doesn't make up for everything, but maybe it's a start? Okay. Cards on the table. Liz trusts you, but I'm going against my gut by letting you be here. You're on shaky ground, Raxton. I'm keeping my eye on you. Good. That means you're not an idiot. A, a present? For me? Y you shouldn't have. Mark and I reverse engineered some of the circuits. Really? Whoa! This is amazing! While I've got you, I talked to Peter. Did you now? He offered to hack into the Bugle's website and broadcast incriminating footage from AIM's internal database worldwide. We just need to get him access to AIM's server from the inside. Huh. Sounds like a job for me. And Mark. You can use his login to get administrator access into AIM's server. Send the data to Pete, and we're in business. Mark Raxton, a junior executive at Allen Chemicals, turned himself in to authorities today, claiming that he was solely responsible for the company's involvement with AIM scientist Dr. Spencer Smythe. Smythe and Advanced Idea Mechanics are both under investigation after raw footage of advanced synthoid testing was leaked to the Daily Bugle's website, raising questions as to whether AIM's practices are not just unethical, but illegal. The Bugle's internal investigation into who uploaded the live stream is still underway. Hey Liz, are you okay? <sighs> sort of. Uh, still processing, I think. Mark always had a bit of a protective streak. I guess I never expected him to do all this just to save my career. I mean, working with AIM? Even knowing what they were really doing, it just... And you wouldn't have lost that internship in the first place if it wasn't for Peter Parker. Peter? Peter had the right idea this whole time. AIM is dangerous. We should have exposed them a lot sooner. So... you don't hate him? I mean, I did it first. You know, nobody likes losing their job. But this is bigger than both of us. And now I have something to offer the Resistance. 
What's that? Maybe Allen Chemicals can't officially work with the Resistance, but they can at least spare one of their top biochemists. Me. <laughs> Parker said you were as tough as you are smart. He was right. So what about you, huh? What's next for Spider-Man? Well, first I'm gonna go back to New York and get a decent slice of pizza. <laughs> After that, I guess it's back to the old grind. Speaking of, I have work to do, so it's cool if you want to go, like, have some superhero bonding time or whatever. Oh, that's okay. I'm still not used to having people around. I've always flown solo. Or swung, I guess. So, working with the Avengers has been kind of terrifying, but also nice. I don't know. It's strange. Having people want to be around me, and wanting to be around them, too. <laughs> That's called having friends, Spidey. You should try it sometime. I think you'll like it. You did good out there. Yeah? And you know, if you wanted to stick around on a more permanent basis, I don't think anyone would mind. Uh, Bruce only requested that you leave your lab time till once a day and during work hours. I... I'm really flattered. But I've still got my own messes to clean up back home. New York isn't gonna save itself. Still, if you need anything from me, Give me a call, and I'll be there. Oh yeah? You're not gonna go all, I work alone on us? <laughs> I guess it's not the worst thing in the world to have a couple of superhero friends on speed dial. Uh, actually, if you don't mind, could I get a lift back to New York? Kinda far for a rideshare. Hey, Aunt May. Sorry I'm late. I was hanging out with some new friends. Hey, don't sound so surprised. You know what? I did have a nice time. But you know you're always my preferred company. Sure, I'll grab some tamales on the way home. Yeah, I'm glad I had a good day too. Love you. <laughs> 